Welcome to the recharge class. Uh, as always, we're going to get started with our little tip of the day and all that good stuff. So what's my snack today is crispy roasted chickpeas. So basically you take some canned chickpeas or if you buy uh, dried chickpeas, you're going to want to soak them. And then we're going to rub them in olive oil, season them up however you would like. Uh, the popular ones, I guess, are curry or cayenne. So obviously a little spicy. If it was me, I'd probably go with a little garlic powder and onion powder and maybe a little salt, but uh, kind of stay on that savory end of things. But then you just bake them for 400 or at 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they start getting golden. And they're a little bit of a popcorn -y snack, I guess. Um, I actually grabbed the chickpeas out of our pantry. I'm actually going to try this one today. So I'm excited for it. I was reading it and it sounded really good. Chickpeas are really high in fiber and protein. So they're going to help you to feel really good if you snack on them. And then our joke for today that I want you to think of the entire workout. Did you hear about or the rumor about the butter? And I think he's excited because he says, I can't believe I am butter. So anyway, funny joke, because uh, I mean, we all know that commercial, right? I can't believe it's not butter. So today we're going to need our sliders, a lighter weight and possibly a heavy weight, depending on how hard you want to go today. Um, we're going to go through a one strength block and then we're going to do a finishing block today, a little more metabolic today. Uh, but as always, you can make it what you want. If you want to go a little lighter, that's cool. Okay. We don't have to kill ourselves. Remember, this is just to recharge you, get you feeling good, especially going into hopefully a nice weekend, hopefully a nice weekend. So let's go ahead and we're going to get into our glute bridge position to start. We're going on our backs. I'm wearing shoes today because I got some new kicks. So I'm breaking them in, seeing how they do during a workout. If you're barefoot, great. If you're wearing shoes, great. Doesn't matter, I'm not gonna yell at you either way. Okay, so here we go. Nice high hips, glute bridge position. We've done this enough, you guys know this one. Keep those glutes tight, hamstrings nice and tight. We're gonna take our right leg today. Use those hands as stabilizers. Right leg will go up to the sky. Instead of doing a straight drop today, we're gonna go to the side. So I'm taking my right leg towards you. I'm not letting my hip drop going as low as I can, and then I'm gonna bring it up nice and slow. Okay, we're gonna do three of these. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Just go as far as you can, keep your hips parallel to the floor. Nice and steady. Keep that left glute nice and tight, and then bring it back. Beautiful, switching legs without dropping out of that glute bridge, okay? Keep it nice and tight. Take that left leg up, same thing. One hip might feel a little tighter and it's gonna wanna drive your hip down towards the floor. So you're gonna have to use your core. Keep it nice and tight. Don't allow yourself to rotate. Okay, let's think about two to three seconds per rep. So that's down and up. So we're not taking forever, but I also don't want you to just let it fall to the side and then jerk it back up. Okay, so take your time. Nice. All right, come out of that glute bridge nice and easy. Now we're gonna go into a quad adductor stretch with rotation. So I'm gonna show this one from the front. So we're in quad position. Okay, so knees under our hips, hands under our shoulders. I'm gonna take our right leg out to the side, pointing my toe forward towards you guys. Okay, now I'm gonna just sit back towards my heel just a little bit to where I feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside of my leg. Then I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna feed it underneath. Deep breath, come back up nice and tall. Straighten out, take it back, sit back, maybe sit back a little further this time, reach underneath. So I'm sliding the back of my hand I'm threading the needle between my knee and my palm on my left side, coming up straight. Sit back again. Last one here, reach underneath. 
So we're working our T-spine, we're stretching our adductor. Oh, we're working into our hip a little bit. Coming up nice and straight. Beautiful. Switching sides, okay? Make sure that that toe is pointed forward. Okay, that's number one. Sit back, thread that needle. Up, good again. Up, last one. And up. Oh, beautiful. Last one, bear crawl position. Tuck your toes underneath, hands still under your shoulders. Find that neutral spine. Do a couple of cat cows if you need to. Lock your core in tight. We're going to bridge up into that bear position. From there, I'm going to do a reach. So my right arm reaches out. I'm not allowing my hips to shift. Replace, reach out. Replace. Okay, we're going to do five reaches on each side. Pretend that you have your favorite drink on your back. Okay, don't spill your Gatorade or your tea. Okay, nice and easy. There's three, four, last one, five, and come down. Whew. Warming up, warming up, getting nice and warm. Okay, up on our feet, we're gonna do our drop squats to two inch runs. We're gonna go for about three to five seconds. Okay, nice fast feet. Alternate those hands, alternate those feet. Coming up on our toes, drop in, go. Nice fast feet. And relax, good, up. Drop in, and go. And relax, all right. Blood should be flowing a little bit. So, Tying in to our Monday workout, or Tuesday workout, Monday, Tuesday workout. We're gonna do our squats, okay? We're gonna do our single leg squats. I want you to have a chair so that you can come down to a chair. If you don't have a chair, the thing is today, I wanna add a little weight to it. If you don't have a chair or something that's about knee height, any lower than that, it's gonna be too low, you're gonna fall, okay? So about knee height, we're gonna use some mass today to help us get a little lower. We're gonna counterbalance ourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna show the first round from the side, second round from the front, so you guys can kind of get an idea. So I'm gonna grab my lighter weight. I'm gonna hold it here at my chest. I'm gonna start with my left leg. I'm gonna get into position so that the chair is right behind me so I know it's there. Make sure you're not using a rolly chair. We're gonna hover our foot just like before. And we're gonna come down nice and slow into our single leg squat to the chair. Notice I push the weight out a little bit to help me stay down or stay more upright. Okay, and then we're gonna push off that chair, come up nice and tall. Okay, if you don't have a weight, that's fine. Just try to use your arms to help counter you. Nice and slow on the way down. and then come up quick. That's two, we got three more. And actually my chair is a little low, so for the next round, I might add a little height to it. So it's just a little low, it's a little past my breaking point. So I have to cheat a little to not flop down on the chair and I have to use momentum to come up. So if it's not quite knee height, you're gonna have to cheat, which is okay. We're still going through the movement, but it's not gonna be as perfect as you want, okay? So now I'm gonna be on my bad leg. And this, this one, if I can't quite get to the chair, I'm just gonna do my best. Not bad for the first one. We'll see by rep five. These are gonna be hard, that's why we worked on them Tuesday. There's three, and if the weight gets too much, set it to the side. 
And if it gets too much going down to a chair, just stay up higher Ugh. like we did on Tuesday. Okay, just go as low as you can. You're still getting the work in. We're still working movement skills. There's five. Okay, now we're gonna go to a pullover. I'm gonna stay with the lighter weight, go down to the floor, glute bridge position again. Okay, so feet close to our glutes, arms go up. We're gonna have different ways to do this one. Number one, just reach over your head and then pull it back over. Straight arms, as straight as possible. Okay, so if it's too much weight, go with a little lighter weight. Straight up, pull it down. That's option one. Add a little core into it, come into dead bug, reach up, bring it down. Okay, that's still too easy for you. You can take your legs out a little bit, but not too far that you arch your back. Okay, your choice. We got 10 of these pullovers. I'm gonna stay in the dead bug position. Okay, we'll call it dead bug two, or we'll call it number two, pullover number two. I'm gonna stay in that position. I've already done a few, but I'll stay with you guys. There's three. Here's four. I'm controlling the weight. I'm not letting the weight drive my arms down. I'm controlling it overhead and bringing it back. There's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Bring it back up. Come out of your position carefully. Remember, it's that last rep that'll always get you if you're not careful. Okay, from there, we are going to go into our floor press. Actually, I set my weight down and I didn't need to. Now we're going to replace our feet. Okay, I'm going with still the lighter weight. I'm going to transition to the heavier one for round two. I'm going to warm up a little. Okay, we're going to go floor press. We're going five on each side. So if you don't have a weight or if it's too light for you, I want you to try to pull the sky down, touch the floor, and then you're gonna push the sky away and you're gonna keep everything tight as you do it. Same with if you have weight, I want you to control that weight down using your core, using your body to press that weight away. Okay, don't let the weight do the work for you on the way down. Focus on pulling that weight down to the floor. Working on those push-ups right here, right now, with or without weight, I want you to focus on the intention of the muscles that we're working on. What are we working on? We're trying to increase strength. So you can do it with light weight, no weight, and you're still gonna work on those muscles. Okay, switching sides, pulling that sky down. Beautiful. Pull that sky down. And you notice I have my other arm up. You can have your other arm up or you can set it to the side. That's totally up to you. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, leg curls. Okay, so our leg curls today. We're going two legs. So what I'm expecting is we're gonna go out, take about two seconds on the way out. Okay, so we're gonna bridge up, slide out for about two seconds. We're gonna hold for a good second. Okay, and I'm gonna rely on you to count for yourself. You can follow me, but who knows what I'm gonna do. Okay, hold for about a second, and then we're gonna try our best to drag it in nice and slow, not fast, okay? And if it's too much for you to drag it with your butt off the ground, as always, you can set it down, drag it back. I'm more worried about the out. So keep your butt off on the out. Go out as far as you can and pause for a second. You don't have to go flat. Here we go. Bridge up, sliding out nice and slow. Good. Pause for one good second, one good. And then try to drag it back nice and slow. We got eight of those out. And pause when you're done. 
And each person might be a little different, and that's fine. Drag it back nice and slow. Out. Pause for a good second. Drag it back nice and slow. My feet are coming off my sliders. That makes it harder to drag it out. Out. And back. Out. Got four more, guys. Four more. You're doing great. Make sure to breathe. Back. Out. Building those hamstrings right now. Bring it back. Working our hamstrings helps our back health, helps us walk more upright, helps you run better, bring it back, helps you pick things up if you're doing it properly. Last one. And back. All right, come down nice and easy. Now, like I said, for my second round, I'm going to face you. We're moving up again. I'm going to face you with my chair. But I'm also going to add this blue pad right here. Okay. So the blue pad is going to be my lift. So now you can see it's right about my knee. Okay. Now that's going to help me have a lot better form. I'm going to start right leg because it's second round. I'm going to try to go through it a little faster, but we're also going to make sure that we keep good form. Okay, nice deep breath, get in your position. So remember, just hover that foot and we're letting ourselves down nice and easy. Tap and go. Oh, you see that? So much better. Here we go, down, tap and go. And if you notice, I'm kickstanding at the top. My balance isn't quite as good on the right side. So it's okay to kickstand. I'd rather you do that than fall. Okay, down nice and slow. Ugh. One more. See that little shift to my right side? If you didn't, there was a shift. That's me compensating for the fact that my right leg is not as strong. So I'm having to shift my hip around to find the strength. Okay, if you're doing it, it's fine. That's why we're working on it. That's why we do lunges. That's why we do deep squats. We're really working on all these muscles. This is just the challenge phase right here. You could call this the test, okay? Up, we're testing ourselves. Down, up, good, down, up. Left leg feels so much better. Down, up, last one down. And up, nice work. All right, now you know we got pullovers. Don't get rid of your chair yet, okay? Pullovers, get into position. Okay, I'm gonna stick with my light weight for pullovers. I'm gonna switch when I go to bench press, okay? So, get in good position. Get in your head which one you wanna try. Okay, we're going for 10 of these. Here we go, nice and slow on the way out. I'm just gonna drop my leg straight to the ground. Back up, tap my heel, staying in that 90-90. That was one. That way I'm keeping my back a lot more structured. Here's three. Here's four. Here's five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, nice and easy. And up. Nice. Okay. I'm switching weight. Depending on what you already used, you can judge for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna go up a little bit. It's not a whole lot more, but it is a little bit more, okay? So the hard part with this one is figuring out the best way to do it. 
especially with a backpack. So my weight's a little bit on the outside, so it's gonna challenge me as far as controlling it here, okay? So not a perfect scenario, but it's what we got, okay? So here we go, pushing it up, straight, bringing it down about a 45, till your elbow touches, drive it up. If you are having a bag or something on the outside of your arm, please just be really careful to not let your elbow get pulled outside. Okay, so the big part there is making sure that you have the strength in your shoulder and in your arms to not lose that weight to the outside. Okay, bring it down and press. One more, down nice and slow and press. Good, switching sides. Now when we switch sides, if the weight's outside too, be really careful to not set that weight down to the outside. Could really hurt your pec or your elbow. We don't want that. Okay, here we go, pressing it up. Bring it down nice and slow. Up, down, up, down. Good, two more. Up. Last one. And let it down nice and easy. And then push that weight to the side. All right, back to your sliders. Last round with your sliders today. Get your heels on your sliders or whatever you got that's sliding. Bridging up, taking it out nice and slow. Bringing it back. Good, we're just going for it this time. Eight reps back. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, relax down. Okay, now the reason I had you keep your chair if you have one, and if you don't, there's other ways to check, but I'm gonna use my chair as a gauge, okay? So what I'm saying is we're gonna do some running in place. I don't want my feet lower than this bar on my chair, okay? So I'm not doing like two inch runs anymore. I wanna actually bring my knees up fairly high, okay? You don't have to kick yourself in the face, but I do want my foot at least what, two, three inches off the ground, okay? We're gonna go running in place, high knees for about 20 seconds. Then we're gonna go five, hand walk, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, hand walk back, okay? And then we're gonna finish that with five speed squats. We're gonna do it twice, plenty of time to do it twice, okay? So I'm gonna turn kind of at an angle because I actually have a timer today, woohoo, okay? But I want high knees, you can run in place, whatever you're gonna do, 20 seconds. If you don't feel like running in place, if it's hard on your knees, hard on your hips, anything like that, just march it out, okay? Just like you're gonna march hard, fast, but just keep moving, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. You're doing good, you're doing good. We're five seconds in. I actually have a timer, it's gonna be so long today. There's 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, push through. Push through, here we go, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, five hand walks to shoulder tap. Okay, fold forward, hand walk out, get in that plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk those hands back, and up, down, hand walk out, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk those hands back. There we go, you're doing good. This is what we call active recovery, working a few muscle groups, getting your breaths in, shoulder tap, good, last one coming, and down, and hand walk back, good, speed squat, exactly what it sounds like, regular squat, go as low as your chair, Five of them, just rep it out, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Easy. Okay, we got about five more seconds of rest. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Whatever your favorite team is, you're running for the end zone. You're trying to score that last goal. Bunch of Timbers fans out there. Let's go, keep it up, they need you. High knees, three, two, one, and relax. Whew. All right, here we go. Hand walk. Glad I wore shoes. All right, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. If you start feeling lightheaded standing up, take your time. Okay, no passing out. Number three. Number four. Last one. Number five. All right, here come your speed squats. Here's the movement you've all been waiting for. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go for 10. Oh, I tricked you, come on, let's go 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And one last challenge for you. Drop down to the floor. Okay, here we go. Plank position while I read you the quote of the day. So either plank on your hands, pillar bridge on your forearms. Try to hold the entire time. You're tired, you're breathing hard. Hold it as much as you can without taking a break. Here we go. I'm gonna give you the quote of the day, okay? Get ready, lock in. All right, here we go. Read it already, coach. Imagine with all your mind, Believe with all your heart and achieve with all your might. You guys did amazing today. I'm so proud of you. Putting in the work. Each day that you're here and you're putting in that work, you're getting stuff done. On that, we are doing a 30-day challenge. Okay? All of Intel is doing a 30-day challenge. If you want more information on it, let me know. I'll probably be sending you guys all an email. If you're interested, please sign up. It's a lot of this kind of stuff. 30 days of commitment, and you're just gonna make yourself better. All right, and relax. <sighs> nice work today, guys. As always, thanks for being here. I know we're ramping it up, but I know you guys are handling it because nobody's sending me hate mail yet. I appreciate all of you. Thanks again for coming, okay? Have a great weekend. I will see you Tuesday. We're gonna be uh, hammering out some good movements as always. I'll leave you with your joke. Did you hear the rumor about butter? If not, I don't wanna be the one who spreads it. Oh, so bad, so bad, but so good. Yeah, and if you're interested in that challenge, please hit me on IM, email me, and I'll make sure I get it to you. If not, let me know, so that way I don't send you the email unless you want it. Um, but I might just send it to all of you that have been taking class just because I know you're probably in it for the good stuff. All right, guys. As always, thank you. Have a great weekend. If you do get outside, please be safe. Wear a mask, wash your hands, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.